Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel, Albino Moon Child Tarot. I'm Becky and I'm here to do your general reading for the second half of June 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Taurus. All right, so the first card we have out is Seven of Wands, followed by the Knight of Wands, <clears throat> and then the High Priestess. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, and then the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy, Four of Wands. All right, Taurus, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces. All right, <clears throat> that's what I have so far that's out on the grid. All right, more signs will pop out when we um, pull clarifier cards. All right, so bottom of the deck and the overall energy is in regards to a relationship or the home life, all right? All right, so this is also a ceremony. You could be attending a wedding or you are getting married. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. All right, for some of you, you could be blocking forward movement and it's like your intuition is telling you something. You could be in, like, in lack of something, in lack of something physical, all right? Um... This could be in lack of communication, in lack of physical contact with somebody, or just in lack of something. It's like you're out in the cold, all right? But something is coming in. This is about compromise, Six of Pentacles, all right? So you're waiting for some type of communication, some type of forward movement in regards to some type of communication or in some type of payout, all right? And it's like your intuition is telling you, wait wait until it comes in it's going to come in whatever you're expecting is coming in especially in regards to this relationship or this home life um that you've been waiting for all right <clears throat> what else do i see i see some of you are also blocking out this person that's left you out in the cold all right And I feel like the Sagittarius or this person that brings you some type of passion is going to actually help you in regards to giving you some type of generosity. You're either paying out uh, somebody or you're receiving some type of help, some type of generosity. And it's in regards to some type of forward movement, okay? Alright, so let's see some clarifying cards. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So, Taurus, you just showed up to your own reading. Alright. Then we have the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Page of Swords. Okay. Okay. So, right here, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, I feel like you're blocking out this person that has left you out in the cold because it's like time for you to get something, to get on your A-game, Taurus, because this is you in your highest vibration, all right? This is you being grounded by yourself, being stable by yourself, not relying, not depending on anybody to get anything done. This is you being the highest vibration of a Taurus that you can be, all right? You're grounded, you're stable, you're independent, you're confident, okay? You got your finances right, all right? And then we have the Ten of Swords. So whatever this, like, you've been waiting on some type of compromisation, some type of payout, and it could be in regards to this, like, you're, you may have a player on your hands because the Knight of Wands is like somebody who does a one-night stand. 
that's the low vibration somebody that's a player it's like you've been waiting for some type of um, compromise or some type of like return from this person but it's like with this ten of swords it's like you're done all right now for others of you this is like you're done with you're you're done with this situation you're ready to move forward all right to something or someone that is going to return the investment that you invested in so basically knowing your self-worth and value like this ten of um, swords person and this five of, uh, five of pentacles person that you've been blocking out it's just finally ten of swords I'm done with this person back I'm so done I'm ready to move forward I'm ready to get my own groove back I'm ready to you know get my compromise like gives gets with somebody that knows my worth and value and then can reciprocate that to me in a physical way all right or this could be in a job situation i'm done with this job i'm done feeling left out in the cold and i'm just ready to move forward move on to something that's going to reciprocate to me okay and then we have the night of uh, the page of swords in regards to the uh high priestess and the three of wands so wanting something more light-hearted wanting something that resonates in a soul way and your intuition is guiding you to this this energy it's like for some of you this could be like you guys spying on somebody getting help from uh somebody that reads like energy or seeking uh guidance from a spiritual sense right like getting a tarot reading <laughs> um for others of you it's just like wanting to to go towards this waiting for somebody waiting for this light-hearted energy to come in waiting for some fun to come in waiting for things to lighten up even in regards to a relationship okay because things could be going really hot and heavy and it's just you're tired of feeling left out in the cold all right that's what I'm strongly getting from this reading. Alright, so here we go into the angel answers, love bugs. So, is the first card says be assertive. Okay. Oh, and with that page of swords, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Alright, and the next one says opportunity. Alright. And then it says improving health. So your health is your wealth. Needing to like focus on your health. Focus on your mental health, your emotional health, all the health. Spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. What was the other one? Was there four? Oh, there were five. Anyways, you, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so it says be assertive. Be assertive. You should, like, okay, the, the Knight of Wands is very assertive. They know what they want. They go for it. They don't take no for an answer. They will always find a way to get it. It's like there's more than one way to skin a potato, okay? I'm not going to say skin a cat because that is just so cruel. Don't skin cats. Skin potatoes. If you're going to skin anything, skin potatoes. All right? And then what I'm seeing here is opportunity. So there is an opportunity for you to move forward, for you to find somebody that will reciprocate, or for you to find that opportunity that will reciprocate to you what you give out okay and this is something that is going to lead to a solid foundation this is going to lead to a relationship this is going to re um, lead to a better home situation all right bottom of the deck and the overall energy says reconsider all right reconsider what you're blocking reconsider what it is that you are are done with reconsider what it is that you're moving forward towards what it is that you're wanting to reciprocate reconsider why what you are waiting for okay what are your real expectations what are your expectations from your heart can you get this from this person that's leaving you out in the cold yes or no okay all right, and that is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that this message resonated. If it did, please hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. If it did not and you're interested in a personal reading with me, hit check out that description box below. Hit me up for a personal reading, and I will see you guys in July. Love you, Taurus. Namaste.